So today's top talker is about losing weight. And with obesity rates on the rise, many are turning to medical professionals for help, and some are finding success with prescription diet pills. But are they truly safe? In our The New You series, Jason Fraser has a look at the new generation of diet pills and whether or not you should consider taking them. Four years ago, Susan Zabo was diagnosed as a diabetic. She immediately thought of her family. Both my mother and brother were diabetics. Both died. My mom was at 57 and my brother 60. Susan admits when she looked in the mirror, she wasn't in love with what she saw. Soon, however, she would find a new love. Fell in love with CrossFit, fell in love with the diet program, and have not stopped. Sue has lost 65 pounds. You know, I can get down and play on the floor with my grandchildren. I can walk up and down steps without getting out of breath. But she admits she had an assist from her doctor in the form of diet pills. First, I was like, no, I can do this on my own. But when I hit the plateau, I was like, you know, I gotta break this somehow. Susan isn't alone. According to the Centers for Disease Control, the obesity epidemic continues to grow. We have easy access to food. Some food may be good, but may not be that healthy. So you, you, you keep coming with those calories. Unfortunately, because we have busy lives, we don't exercise as well. And doctors believe unless we get ahead of this crisis, it will lead to other problems. The obesity as a disease will lead to a lot of other diseases. Diabetes is one, hypertension, uh, increased risk of stroke. It's why some doctors and weight loss management programs like the one at Cleveland Clinic are prescribing diet pills. We don't rely solely on these medications for weight loss. We need to have a weight loss program. We need to talk about nutrition, about exercise, sleep, stress, appetite control. So you do need behavior changes, but these medications may be very helpful uh, for a jump start. There have been serious issues with diet drugs in the past, so it's understandable that many are concerned about the safety of these drugs. But medical experts say you shouldn't be as long as it's been prescribed by your doctor. And those newer drugs have gone through rigorous testing. We have more data, safety data, uh, that's required when you do uh, clinical trials. But the pills aren't meant to be a long-term solution. But most of them work in your brain some of the receptors where we'll decrease appetite. While Susan says they have been helpful in jumpstarting her loss, she keeps something in her wallet to keep her on track. I have to look at the before picture that I carry everywhere I go in my calendar and just say, you know what, do you really want that candy bar? Because you can go back to that tomorrow. When you wake up in the morning, it's a new day. Start new. Don't worry about what you did yesterday. Jason Fraser, 3 News.